Um, so I'm going to show you now how to set up um, Specify Prac chromatography. So the first thing you need is a like small piece of chromatography paper, um, a ruler, pencil, beaker filled with about 75 centimetres cubed of water, and then the pens that you want to test or the ink sample um, that you are testing for your chromatography. Can't remember the word then. Um, first thing then, you need to do a one centimetre, so one centimetre um, above the edge of the chromatography paper, a straight line, a complete straight line, okay? Um, make sure you're doing it in pencil, because if you do it in pen, then that will run and that will affect your sample. Um, this is quite a small piece of chromatography paper, so I'm only going to run two samples. With your samples, you want to do a dot, not a really large dot about that size okay um, a nice dot so you get a good clear run okay um, then using um, these are just splints that we have in school fold it over twice and make sure that you secure it with a paper clip okay um, and then I'm going to place it in my water so that my line my pencil line is just at the tip of the water, okay? Hence why. Okay, so this is a completed sample um, that we've run a brown colour from. You can see that it's made of loads of different colours, okay? So brown is definitely a mixture of different inks, okay? Um, one thing they might ask you to do um, in the exam is to look at working out the RF value okay um, so that's basically working out um, how far it's traveled and working out the solubility of it okay so to work out the RF value we would measure from the one centimeter to the edge or the end of our sample okay um, so in this case it was three centimeters so three centimeters and then you would divide it by how far the solvent has moved and in this case how far the water has moved and it's all the way up here Again, measuring from the one centimetre line. And that is seven. So you put into your calculator three divided by seven. I have got a calculator. Here's one I prepared earlier. Um, and that would give you 0 0.42. Okay, so that would be the RF value of this sample. Okay, um, the further they travel up, the larger the RF value, um, the more soluble the substance is. Um, a couple of inaccuracies, as you can see, this has got loads of different colours on here, um, and it's really hard to pinpoint where it stopped, so that's our major inaccuracy. Um, 